Welcome to another episode of a Red Pill Canuck Quickies, and today we are doing Bumble Fails. I matched with this guy on Bumble. <laughs> Just wait. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only 31. You act like I'm ancient. <laughs> no, 28, 28. He's 28. I'm 31. A part in the fuck? That's because he wants to go to the good old junior college and get him some fresh tail. <sighs> yeah, that new car smell. <laughs> A bitch is confused. Y'all know how my dating life's going? I matched with the same man on Bumble today for the fourth time. Okay, first of all, how long have you been on Bumble for? And second of all, how the hell you strike all four times? <laughs> oh my god, can't make this ish up. I don't know how we keep becoming unmatched. Either he's unmatching me or... Um, Bingo, he's unmatching you. Bruh. Or he's just creating a new profile because I've never unmatched him. So this is a That's because he's unmatching you. Fourth time in a row. We are already friends on Snapchat. We've been friends on Snapchat for six months. He has my phone number because he asked for it and saved it in the chat and never texts me. Okay, to be fair, I have Snapchat and everybody on my list, I don't talk to them at all. We used to follow each other on Instagram and then he unfollowed me, so I unfollowed him. Obviously, he don't like you. <laughs> Take a hint, ma'am. And every time it happens, I message him and I'm like, ha, third time's a charm, first time's a charm. And he's like, oh, where are we going to meet? And I'm like, that's because he's, <laughs> look at that clueless look. <laughs> he's trying to be nice, ma'am. That's all he's trying to be. He's obviously not interested in you. And that clueless face says it all that you don't get it. What are you talking about? So this weekend, I'm actually going to be in his city. We live an hour away from each other. I already made plans with my friends to go there. So I'm going to snap him. I'm going to be like, guess where I am? I'm here. You can either meet me or I'm blocking you on everything. So you all stay tuned. We're either going to be in love or something else. Um, It's going to be something else. <laughs> what happened? Okay, l l let's go back. Let's go back to what it said. Hold on a second. <laughs> God. Part two explaining the bumble hack of how to get a guy to initiate conversation and message you first. Okay, I thought the actual concept of a dating app is to talk to people you like. Um, now you're forcing people to speak to you. So Bumble now has these reaction buttons. They're little smiley faces in the bottom left of every single photo on the profile, except for the first photo for whatever reason. So decide which photo you like, and then you're gonna push the little smiley face. When you do that, it's gonna give you a variety of emojis to choose from. Pick okay, you gotta go through all of this for someone to speak to you. Anyway. Whatever emoji you want, do not send a message. You'll get a notification if you match. Again, do not send a message. So basically, don't talk to them. Just stand there and let them talk to you or actually force them to talk to you. You're going to close this screen out and you're going to go to the messaging page on Bumble where they're going to now be at the top spot. There's the emoji you sent and the bottom will say they now have 20. So you have 23 hours to accept this message. <laughs> Or this message will self-destruct. <laughs> so you're giving the man a time limit. Three hours to reply. You can still message them, but they can also initiate at that point. For example, yesterday I sent that emoji. He initiated. You're welcome. <sighs> yeah, ladies, good luck. And if, if you really want a man to talk to you, I hope you took notice. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.